But Johnny, let's move on. The next Captain Marvel topic yeah. or theory that we're looking at Furry. is there is a theory about Nick Fury about how he is going to lose his eye. Because that's important in Captain Marvel. A theory about Mick, Nick Theory? Yeah, a theory about, did I say that, Nick no, no. Theory? No, I said, I, <laughs> okay. I couldn't get the words out. We have a theory about Nick Fury. I thought theory, I thought I said a theory about Nick no, Fury. No, it just wouldn't come out of my um, tongue. I just didn't know you didn't notice the rhyme. Yeah, so let me uh, let me set this up for you. So it does rhyme. So what we've known about Nick Fury for the past is that he's not going to be Director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he's going to be like a low-level S.H.I.E.L.D. employee, um, kind of like a desk jockey, basically, where he's doing desk work, he's kind of out in Maybe the Maybe more like an agent? Exactly. That's As less of a word. desk jockey? Probably the word I'm looking for. Yeah. So Maybe. He's more of an agent than the director. His boss is going to be Ben Mendelsohn's character, who is Talos. However, Talos is a scroll. So we already know that Ben Mendelsohn, Talos is a Skrull, but undercover, he's going to be the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. at this time. So the theory is that many people believe that in this movie, how Nick Fury will lose it is that Talos will betray Nick Fury. That betrayal will cost Nick Fury his eye and that will set up why Nick Fury is the way he is and has the trust issues that he has throughout all of these final movies. What do you think about this Nick Fury theory? And do you think he will lose his eye because of his boss in Ben Mendelsohn's character, Talos? That would be one gr- uh, great theory for that because it's going to be someone... It's, Johnny's it's, sitting there going, great, you did great detective work, whoever came up with that. You really dug deep for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a really, really mm-hmm. a- asinine slow clap. Uh, no, I mean, that's one... It, Try. I can't. I'm gonna paraphrase because I can't remember the exact quote. Mm-hmm. Uh, he lost. He and this is in Winter Soldier. He basically something along the lines of he lost his right eye from someone he trusts. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's there's it's only gonna be a few people this could be from. It's gonna be uh, maybe his boss Talos, right? Mm-hmm. As we said, yeah. um, the one there's one of few others. If he has anything to do with that group that Captain Marvel's in, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so maybe, um, not Marvel. That are so we um, Jude Law, right? That's his character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mar- Marvel. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll talk about that. Though we'll talk about that. Later. I'm gonna say he's, about I'm gonna that. say Marvel right now. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't think Marvel. He might be too. I'm wondering if it's someone from that group, like mm-hmm. near like near the end of the movie. This is like. Captain Marvel, whatever happens with him, it's. I don't think it's gonna be him. Mm-hmm. What the other one I would go with is maybe Ronan. Okay. As he starts to make the switch into the uh, but Kree fanatic, and I am going to, I'm going to throw this out there. How much interaction do you think that Nick Fury will have with Ronan? Because I'm not we sure haven't yet. seen them. We haven't seen them interact yet, but that doesn't mean there's going to exactly. be no interaction. That's what I'm thinking. I'm okay. wondering. I wonder. That's that's. It would be either Talos. Now that we know that he's a character in this Star Force, is that we've been Star saying Force. that Star Force is the Captain Marvel team. Good to know. Yeah, I, I, I mean, looked it up because I'm like enough of calling it the the Kree Super Team. It's Star Force. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe he has something to do with Star Force mm-hmm. in this. Maybe not. I don't know yet. Um, obviously we don't yeah. know anything of that about that part yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but if he does, maybe he's like sort of a member of it or mm-hmm. an earthbound member or whatever they want to put it as. Um, excuse me. Um, what could tie in is maybe cause what we don't know who all is in star star force yet either. Mm-hmm. But my thing is obviously this, this one's going to st- at least start leading Ronan down the Kree fanatic mm-hmm. route. Because that's another interesting thing. But that, so I would, sorry to interrupt that. Go ahead. Last part is, I would put it as one of those two. I can't think of anyone else in this movie that would be that. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm reading, I'm, I'm reading the article again. And like, the, the one that says that's like, oh, it's got to be him is Talos. Like, he's the main, like, but I wonder if that's a misdirection. We're like in Marvel movies we've had before where it's like, oh, it's bound to be, it's got to be this guy. Yeah, true. And then they throw you a curveball and you're like, oh, well, I didn't think of that. 
I didn't think of that one. Yeah. Um, and they even throw out what you just said. They said the winner, the winner soul, or in Captain America, the winner soldier, he says, the last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye, which may define his mindset from here on out better than any other line. I mean, what if it is Marvel? Like, it could, it could be like, and without getting into, that's what I'm thinking. So, for me, my theory, part A, part B this. Yeah. Part A is in here. Part B is going to be in our last topic. I am going to go with Marvel because you think about it. If you look at who Marvel is, he is on Earth a scientist. Like he is mm-hmm. interacting with human beings. You're telling me one of the leading Cree scientists, well, Scientist that is a Cree on Earth is having no interaction with S.H.I.E.L.D. at all. Oh, no. For sure he's and got to be. there's got to be, for the movie, duh, Nick Fury is probably the agent that is, hey, you're keeping eyes on this guy. Like, that is your job, to mm-hmm. keep tabs on him, check in every once in a while. Yeah. And that, to me, is, it, it just seems like when people, when I read this article and they're like, oh, well... Talos is Ben Mendelsohn's character, and we already know Ben Mendelsohn is going to be a scroll. So bada bing, bada boom, it's got an answer. I think of what I just told you. Marvel, they like to they misdirect. like to make you well misdirect, but they don't want to go with the obvious answer. Yeah, they have never gone with the obvious answer. Think about all of our when we did that podcast, that like forty five minute segment. I think it was um, almost an hour segment about all right. Avengers Infinity War comes out this week. We're giving all our predictions right now. Yep. Our final hold us to them predictions. And there were some in there where we were like, yeah, this is going to happen just like this. Count it. And then we saw the movie and we're like, oh, didn't think of that. They kind of did it, but I didn't expect them to do it this way. Exactly. Kind of a thing. And I'm wondering if, because um, Marvel is not supposed to be a bad guy. Yes. So I wonder if it's along the lines of, I'm trying to think how to put how to phrase this. Mm-hmm. Um, he has to like slice Nick Fury's eye because obviously, if mm-hmm. you look at it, it's got like the the one main one you sent me. Yeah. Um, there's a nice long scar across it, but there's also like these little mini almost burn marks. Mm-hmm. So obviously, alien. I feel like that'd be alien well, tech. Not just that. If you look at and it's in that same article. I'm gonna put this down below. Yeah. For you guys to see it. If you look at page one of that article, Mm -hmm. when they talk about um, what we know about Nick Fury, the younger Nick Fury, we already see above the eye a slash with three bandages. Yeah. That could be anything, or it could just be foreshadowing that, hey, he's going to lose that eye as well. (laughs) I mean, I feel like it's an unnecessary foreshadowing. Of like, hey, unless it's the first, mo- unless for some reason this is the first Marvel movie you go to see. Yeah, and you're this like, oh kinda... my god, I didn't expect him to lose that eye. What? I thought it was going to be the other eye. Oh, he, he lost this eye in this yeah. movie. Huh. I just, with me, I feel like Marvel is the one I'm putting my money on, and the reason why is nobody expects it. Well, yeah, there's people that probably expect it, but the general population is probably thinking, "Oh, it's written in stone." Like there might have been people that came in, might not have even gotten this far into this conversation because they might have jumped into this video, thought, "Well, that's a stupid topic. It's it's a foregone conclusion," and that well, conclusion. That's not even a word, Ricky. It's a foregone conclusion. That's what I meant to say. And they clicked out of the, yeah, get that through your head that I just said conclosure. We have upcline, we have downcline, and now we have conclosure of words Ricky have, Ricky has created on podcasts. It just happens. So uh, maybe eventually I'll come up with my own dictionary. Maybe, Do you eventually. think people would buy a Ricky Whitmer dictionary? I don't know. Just words that I have created, like conclosure. <laughs> If you write I don't it, even know what the actual definition if you of write conclusion would be. I guess be. you can throw it on the, the store. Conclusion. MVP store. See conclusion. <laughs> Basically, it's just see this other word from this other dictionary. But that's besides the point. The thing that I wanted to say is that Marvel's the guy. They're, Nick Fury and Marvel will have interactions with each other. I feel like Jude Law is going to be the character. That bites Nick Fury in the butt because because think of it this way, if Talos was the one that 
basically betrayed Nick Fury, why would that affect Nick Fury dealing with supers? Yeah. It would only, for me, yes, there'd be a little trust issue, but I feel like he would distrust shield agents and not supers as much. Well, because unless... you because you think of it this way, and I know you can say, well, Ricky's probably vetted this team, Maria Hill, Coulson. He's not distrusting of that. It's not like a thing where it's like, I distrust everybody and I have trust issues. It's basically, well, Maria Hill, Coulson, I trust. It's you guys I don't. Well, Why? actually. Because one of them bit me in the butt in the 90s. To be fair, no, he doesn't trust anyone. Because he compartmentalizes mm-hmm. everything. Okay. So yeah, the, it's not necessarily a trust in agents. It's a no. It doesn't, it's a no trust anyway. You know what I yeah. think you need to know. But I'll throw this out. Do you think there's? Do you think it's something to where maybe he trusts he distrusts everyone, but the superheroes there's just a little bit more distrust. Where it's like, yeah, I distrust both of you. But these superheroes, no. there's a little bit more. Nick I think Fury, no, specifically. I think it's obviously a person-to-person mm-hmm. basis. It's always gonna. It's always to him a, you'll know what I think you need to know. Yeah. Um. I want to say one of, like, Marvel is a good one because it would be more of a, I he did this for whatever reason. Nick thinks, oh, you stabbed me in the back. But I he's don't actually, think it's going to be Captain Marvel. I didn't say that. I said Marvel. No, 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 I'm just saying, like. That would be an in interesting head, one too, but then the, there's no reason he'd call. Why her would back. he call her if exactly. she was the one that bit him in the butt? But. Exactly. But um, I thought more so would be um, it's Marvale, mm-hmm. and it's because like he slashed his eye for whatever reason he mm-hmm. had to, and then went off to do whatever he had to do. Like, but it's not like he technically wasn't betraying him, but Nick thinks it is because he's gone. Last thing he did was slash him in the eye. Yeah, and I mean. Ro- you brought up Ronan yeah. earlier. I Ronan would be my outside one because yeah. if you connect some of the dots, Nick Fury might be dealing with Marvel. Marvel definitely is going to be in contact with Ronan mm-hmm. in this movie. It's just a question of will Nick Fury then be in contact with Ronan because of him being in contact with Marvel. Yeah. That's the huge question with all of this. Yeah. I mean, that's why I threw that one out there, but mm-hmm. I don't like, I'm not banking on that one. Yeah. Like, it would be an interesting one. Like, he comes to start trusting that group, uh, the, mm-hmm. what we say, Star Force. Yeah, right? Star Force. And, like, okay, he trusts Carol Danvers. He trusts Marvel. Mm-hmm. He trusts Ronan because that's the group. Like, he's starting to trust. And all of a sudden, Ronan goes off the, d- starts to go down his deep end road. And, uh, mm-hmm. because. And I- from Go what the, the the fan one we saw, and this, mm-hmm. who knows how true that one is, he wants to destroy the world. But I doubt that what, because Nick Fury wants to destroy the world, or Ronan. Okay. Well, I'm reading the article. Yes, Nick a Fury more. wants to destroy the world, Ricky. and that's why he has I the gave resources you that confused for that. Look, he yeah. has the resources but for that. The thing with Ronan, and we're gonna see it in this movie, is we're gonna see him go off the deep end. Yeah, no, for sure, yeah. because that's where he's gonna start his uh, Kree mm-hmm. fanatic. Exactly. I almost called it a phase, but I mean, I guess mm-hmm. it's his final phase. Because his final it, form. Because, because he was now. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mister Marvel Boy. Mm-hmm. Um, in Guardians, he was blue. Yes. In this movie, is is he going to be green and then turn into blue because he goes I off think the deep was, end? I think it was just the tint of the picture. You just think it's the tint of the lighting? Yeah, because okay. I'm, I'm trying to look at it right now. Mm-hmm. Um, is that on the second page? Because I saw it and I was like, oh, is he going to be green in this one? And then... No, because if you re- look closer... Because Kree are supposed to be blue. It's they're, scroll they're that blue. are green. The, they're making them like a yellowish, okay. but yeah. They're making but, like a tinted yellow color. Like in color. the comics, it was green. the Kree are blue, the Skrull are green. Green, like a yellow greenish color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're making it a little bit more yellow than green on this mm-hmm. one. But anyways, um. Yeah. No. What it is is it's the, you, if anything, it's the it's how you're seeing it as the lighting because mm-hmm. if you look at it, it's just like the um, Ronan the Accuser costume, but it's like green mm-hmm. and black, just like yeah. Ms. Captain Marvel's is in the mm-hmm. movie. Maybe he's a part of that team in some way. I think he is in this. Or it's just a generic military, like, color scheme for the crew. Because he doesn't ha- I'm sorry. He doesn't have the actual star on his chest. Mm-hmm. So it could be a Kree, um, 
military and like Star Force is a special Kree military one mm-hmm. because what it looks obviously Carol has Kree like powers from the Kree, but she doesn't actually have like she's not an actual Kree. Mm-hmm. Then again, it could be play. I wonder if they're gonna play anything into the um, Inhumans with this one. Because that could. Kree's created in humans, mm-hmm. so I'd be interested to in see if they play any of that, or even re- just reference them into it. Well, oh, I thought Good you were going to finish that. No, I was going to say that an interesting line here, and this is from the article. Um, they say in the same interview they referenced an interview earlier mm-hmm. um, with Entertainment Weekend Weekly. Jackson said he, being Nick Fury, he understands. That there's that they are not all enemies, and we do need to find allies who have specific kinds of skills that humans do not have. And then the article goes on to say, but that's easier said than done, which is why Fury places his entire career on the backs of the Avengers originally. He may be proven to be right in the long run, but since Captain Marvel isn't exactly Carl Danvers' original st- or, or origin story, fleshing out Fury's backstory couldn't hurt. And that's why, for me, kind of to close this up for me, I feel like it is not going to be Talos that betray. Like, mm-hmm. he's going to betray Nick Fury, but he isn't going to be the reason Nick Fury loses an eye. Yeah. Marvel is going to be the one that is the reason that Nick Fury loses an eye. But like I said, this is the only reason why I haven't gone. It's, it's kind of like this segment for me. I've kind of felt like it's a tease yeah. um, on my side because I didn't want to give, I didn't want to throw the bath out with the bath water with this one because part B leads into what we're going to talk about next. But mm-hmm. part A being Captain Marvel or Marvel is going to be the one to betray Nick Fury and you will see why possibly with the next theory that we are going to talk about. Any final thoughts that you want to add before we move on? No, I think we need to, to kind of fit, kind mm-hmm. of finish this segment in yeah. a sense. This one's going to be, this is a tease. So if you're on YouTube, come back tomorrow for the next segment. Or if you're watching this later in the future, um, it's already up. Go see the Captain Marvel segment that we put out. But this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you think down below in that comment section. What is your theory? For how Nick Fury loses his eye and what do you think will happen in the Captain Marvel movie?